Hey there guys, it's Deirdre from Vegan Delight and John has gotten into a car accident today on his bike. So we're gonna check in with him now and see how he's doing. All right, so I'm here with the victim. It's John. How are you feeling, hon? How was your ride today? My ride was actually amazing. I had an amazing ride. Um, you know, it was one of those days where I woke up, it was six degrees here raining and you know, six degrees raining in friggin' Florida. That's not what I came here for. And I really didn't want to go out for this ride. I sat in front of the, you know, the door was open. I sat there with all my gear on and the bike for at least 15 minutes, you know, waiting for the rain to stop and, you know, trying to talk myself into going. So I ended up, you know, I obviously ended up going and, and what I decided to do to try and make the, make the workout go by was two 20 minute efforts. So my goal was to do uh, two 20 minute uh, efforts, each at 300 watts. So I did the first one. First one I felt felt amazing, did 300 watts for 20 minutes, and then I took 20 minutes easy, easy spinning for 20 minutes, and then I started to go again for the next 20 minute bit. And you know, I held 300 watts, felt amazing, first 15 minutes, and I said, fuck this, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and do a personal best today and see if I can hold 300 watts for 40 minutes. So I did, which is, I felt like a million bucks when I got it done, um, you know, cause it's something I've never done before. Uh, so in about two minutes after, spinning my legs, cooling down, and uh, going down the road, going straight, and this car is pulled up to make a right-hand turn in front of me. Uh, I look at him, we look at each other, I look down at my Garmin uh, to see uh, see what the time was, look up, and I hit him. The guy pulled out right in front of me. And, you know, it's one of those things, it's 100%, it was 100% his fault, 100% because I was going straight, and he pulled out in front of me, but, you know, because I looked down for a second at my Garmin, which, you know, I've learned I'll never do that in the middle of an intersection again. Was it preventable? Could I have prevented it if I didn't look at my Garmin? I don't know. You know, maybe I still would have hit him because he says he, after he said he didn't see me, and he literally pulled out right in front of me like a, like a squirrel would run under your car kind of thing. And you were going pretty quick. Would you have had time to slow down even if? I was going about 30. So like I looked at, I saw him, looked at my Garmin, looked up and then there he was. And then I was on the brakes for a second. And so when I hit him, I hit the back side of his car, right where the, where the gas cap is. And it was like my body hit his car and then I just, I hit the ground. Um, it busted up my derailleur, ripped off my derailleur, Durace DI2 derailleur, uh, which is 650 bucks. So the, when, you know, I was on the ground and I was rolling around for a bit, it took me, you know, it took me a couple minutes to figure out, you know, if I was hurt or not. And I just remember being on the ground and trying to sit up and then I laid back down and then the kid comes out of the car and he goes, are you all right? And he kept asking me, are you okay? Are you okay? And it took me, you know, it took me a couple minutes to, to realize, you know, I wasn't hurt, hurt, uh, seriously. But, uh, so what I said to the kid, I said, I looked at my bike, I tried to assess the damage and it looked like only the derailleur was ripped off and all these scratches on, on the derailleur and, and anyone in cycling knows that a Durace DI2 derailleur is you know, expensive, 650 bucks. So I told the kid, I said, look, you know, you, you gotta pay for my bike, 650 bucks, I won't call the cops. And, and you know, we can part ways. And he goes, I don't have any money. I said, okay, well, give me your, let me take a picture of your driver's license. He goes, I don't have my driver's license with me. And you know, the kid looked about 17, 18 years old. So I said, okay, well, call your mom, get your mom to pay me and we won't have to call the cops. And um, he said, I got no money. And he was really wasn't trying to work with me at all. So at that point, a guy in a little restaurant that that it happened right in front of came out and said, "Oh my God, I saw that that guy pulled out right in front of you. Do you want me to call the cops?" So I asked the kid again. I said, "Look, you know, are you going to pay for my bike?" And he said, "He said I got no money." So then the cops came. Um, his mother ended up coming, um, and then we looked over the bike, and you could see it was only the derailleur that was ripped off. And it was all messy. I think Deirdre got a photo, but she'll show you. So the mother ended up writing me a check for 650 bucks. And it's at the bike shop right now. So I was feeling kind of beat up when I came home. Like most of the pain is right here on my ribs and my upper back. Cause I think when I, I hit the car and then I bounced off the car and went down like this. And I think all the, all the, the, the weight was on my ribs and my arm was tucked in. You could see I kind of skinned my elbow a bit, but all in all really, you know, really, really, really lucky today. They were great. They gave me the money. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm hurt too bad. I'll see tomorrow morning how sore I am, but uh, I don't think it'll keep me off the bike. Short the hanger? Yeah, a kid pulled out in front of me. Oh, yeah, it was bad. Oh no, you did. 
So here you can see he's got some scrapes on his arm and um, a little bit on his legs, but overall he got really lucky and um, didn't get uh, messed up too bad. All right, so we are sitting down to dinner. John went to go pick up his bike and it wasn't ready yet. The uh, mechanic said to come back tomorrow, so it looks like everything's gonna be good for you to be riding it again. Yeah, he said yeah, good to go. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so you that's- You can call me tonight. So that's good. So we're just, uh, yeah, we're gonna go see him tomorrow. So we'll fill you guys, give you guys an update tomorrow. And now we're just having our dinner. So I will show you, this is Friday night feast. We got um, homemade French fries. Look at those bad boys, delicious. And then we got vegan pizza. So there's no cheese on that baby, but it looks delicious. And of course there's tons of pizza. And there's tons of fries over here. And then we got a whole nother big batch of fries. So that amount of fries I just showed you, we have that again cooking in the oven right now and getting ready for us. Uh, so that's it. We will make another video tomorrow, uh, fill you in on how John wakes up feeling. Hopefully he's feeling good. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. If you like this one, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Otherwise, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.